Hello everybody, this is Electronic Pro Seller from the iBoot team and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Rock Miner RBox Bitcoin ASIC Miner. So as you can see it's pretty sexy, it's all black. Um, at the back here there's a 2.5mm barrel for your power supply, a mini USB cable here, a wire connecting the miner to the fan. So you want to have it on the side here, so the air can be sucked into here. Blown out through to this uh, heat sink. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, let me show you how to set it up. So the first thing you want to do is you want to um, download all the software for the miner. So basically you can go to the iBoot webpage. Um, go support guides how to set up your RBox Bitcoin ASIC miner and then I can provide all the links here for you so uh, first download the special modified version of CG miner download that downloading and also go to a uh, Zagdig Windows driver installer download the latest version of that so there's two versions Zagdig for Windows Vista or later Zagdig for XP so it's great now the software has finished installing uh, the software's finished downloading so extract that Extract, find the location on your hard drive, I'll pick my desktop, okay, close, uh, <clears throat> open up the Zagdig Windows driver installer as well, yes, okay so there that is, great. So now we have all the software ready, it's time to connect the miner up to the computer. So you will need your Rock Miner R box. Put it on the side. You will also need a mini USB data cable and a 12 volt and 5 amp power supply. So when you buy this from iBoot, you get all these things included. Also, if you uh, buy it from someone else and you are missing something, then you can go to our online shop as well, because we sell the power supply separately and the USB uh, mini data cable. So I'm going to connect that all up now. Okay, I'm going to plug in the uh, power supply now, the 12 volt 5 amp power supply. So the mino is on now, the red light comes on, the fan starts uh, sucking in air. So you can see it, fan's blowing away. That's right, that's how it should look. Um, when it actually starts mining, there's also a blue flashing light. So now take your uh, USB data cable, connect it to your computer or to your USB hub. So I'll connect it up. Okay, as soon as I plug it in, Windows comes up to try and recognize the drive. And there's an error message. It will say CP2102 USB to ERP bridge controller. No driver found. Okay, so don't worry about that because we're going to use Zagdig Win USB driver to replace the driver now. So go options, list all devices, find the CP2102 USB to ERP bridge controller. That is our miner. 
it says driver none so now we're going to install it to a win usb driver so click install driver takes about two to three minutes if that great so click uh, close that's ready now go to where you downloaded the um, specially modified version of CG minor so here it is on my desktop our box our box CG minor open it up uh, find the start mining .bat file right click uh, edit okay and here are the here's the, bot, the bat file options so CG minor .exe, leave that Icarus options 115 200 um, 111 leave that there don't change that dash dash rmu dash frequency 290 so that affects the frequency so the VAT, that means the speed of the miner so actually this miner can hash at a speed of about um, 35 to well, 32 to 40 giga hashes per second so it really depends on what frequency you set it that's about six to seven times faster than the Biofury USB miners so it's a nice little beast it's a great miner to start with so um, the frequency can be anywhere from 200 to 300 I would suggest 290 or 270 okay dash O this is your mining pool so I'm using BTC Guild um, after here is your uh, port number for the server so I just use BTC Guild because um, they're very stable dash U I boot Daddy is my worker name, underscore one, dash P, one, two, three, four, five is the password. Yep, so change um, your server, change all the stuff after here. Change your server, your username, and your password. So it mines at your mining pool. Um, close. Okay, now let's click start mining. Okay, so the device is recognized straight away. You see here RMU0, that's the rock miner. And you see the blue light starts flashing now. So that means it's accepting shares. And as we can see here, accepted share, accepted share. That's a good sign, that means it's working. Okay, so look at the speed. Wow, so the speed is uh, 35 giga hashes per second at the moment. So it will fluctuate a little bit until it stabilizes. So here is the last five seconds, the speed. Here is the average. So just give it some time and you'll see that average goes up to about 35 quite easily. So thank you for watching my setup guide. Um, if you want to buy any of these straight away, then please visit our shop, um, www.iboot.com. Or you can go to our eBay store. Wow, so we're getting 42 giga hashes per second at the moment. That's quite nice. Thank you very much. So like I said again, if you need any help setting up, then you can contact me as well. Um, we're selling these right now in stock with immediate um, shipping, immediate delivery. Um, we ship straight away. And we also have the power supplies that you need. And we've got UK, EU, US and Australian uh, power plugs. So thank you for watching and happy mining. Bye bye.